All right, folks. First of all, you're going to have to deal with the radio in the background because it's election day and I'm listening to this. But anyway, here we have a 2009 Kia Rondo. I did that door before, but I didn't show everything on video. So here we go. Here's the uh, driver's side rear door and the window regulator has broken in it. It just, you know, it goes up and down. It's broken there. So to get this off, we have one screw right here you have to take off. You have one screw right here you have to take off. And over here, there's one screw right here. Let me show you that. One screw there. The other screw is right here. And the other screw goes right here. All right. Then after that, you have all these little Christmas tree clips. So you can see those. They just hold the edge of the door panel on. And for that, I just take a cap claw. You can use a screwdriver. Pop it right up under here. Once you get the first one off, you can pretty much pull them out of there. And these are pretty, pretty decent. I haven't had any break. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to take this off here. And to get this off, from what I remember, looks like we have a Phillips screw here. We have another Phillips screw down here. So I have to get those off of there. And um, looks like I have to get all of these off of here because this you, you replace this entire skin here. So let me do that and I'll show you. Stand by. All right. So here's a little door handle. I took those two Phillips out I showed you. Flip it around. And you can see how those come out, basically. Those two cables. Just like uh, bicycle brake cables. I'm going to go ahead and get those out of there. Stand by. All right, so these plastic things, you just pull them upward, pry them upward, and they come loose in there. And then you can see you can get the cables right out of there. And just keep note that the black cable here, um, black cable was on the top. I believe it was. Anyways, just pay attention to which cable goes where. Because we're eventually going to have to take these out of here, and we're going to have to uh, get these rivets out eventually, too. Okay, um, let me go ahead and get all those uh, bolts out of there. Stand by. All right, so I got all those 10 millimeters out, except for one on top. I left it, and from what my memory tells me, because I've done this before, I'm not Googling this or anything, just going off memory. There's an access panel here. And the window either needs to go up or down to expose something there. Oh, there we go, right there. Uh, there's the broken piece right there. You can see it. But the window, it exposes. Let me get a flashlight. Oh, there it is right there, that little clip. Not, not this broken clip. Don't worry about that broken clip there. But the one in front of it. It hooks it onto the glass, so we have to push that through to uh, get the glass get the glass loose. So basically, you just push that in there with the screwdriver or something. Not, not this piece on the outside. Let me show you. This is the piece that broke. So we're not worried about that. But that piece right in there. That's the one we have to push. Right there it is. Right there is a real good view of it. See how it has a lip? We just have to push that in and it'll release the glass. So let me do that real quick. Hold on. Okay, so I got that pushed through there. And now we're going to try to pull the windshield up. I'm doing this all by myself. Oh, it's kind of hard. There we go. Now the windshield's totally free. Now that it's free, we're going to put it up here. And I'm going to tape it to the top sill. Stand by. Alrighty, so you see what I've done here. Just basically put some tape around each side of the window so it holds it up. Now we can start working on this here again. Um, from what memory serves me, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, well, we're going to do this together. Okay, we'll have to get that out later, that electrical wire. 
Um, I remember all this will have to come out. Um, I think these are clips, so we're going to have to undo all these clips here. Have to undo this here. Here, we can go ahead and undo the speaker here. There we go, speaker's undone. Go ahead and pull this little access thingy out. Okay, so, pretty sure, yeah. So basically this whole harness is gonna come undone and it's all gonna be fished out through here. Um, that speaker's riveted in there. Um, for some reason, I remember taking that speaker out. Um, I'm not sure. This might be riveted on the door. I really don't remember, guys. We're gonna we're gonna figure it out together. But anyways, we're gonna undo all of these. This one here is obviously for the door lock. This probably has to come off after we get the panel off. These little rubber things here, from what I remember, we can, uh, I think we push them inside of there. And then these rivets, I believe we have to drill those out before the panel comes off. Let me play with this and I'll be right back. All right, so the speaker's fine. Basically got this whole thing pried off, the whole thing's loose. The only thing holding this on there are these two rivets. So we are going to have to remove those two rivets. So let me try to snip those out of there real quick. All right, so let me show you. I got the bottom one out. I just basically took some of these side cutters, these dikes, some heavy duty ones. Let's see if it'll come out just as good for this one. Let's put it on there. And might need two hands. There we go. Got them both out that easy. Now we're totally free. Now the whole panel should be free, which it is. Now all we have to do is pop these out and feed them through. Stand by and I'll show you that. All right, trying to show this one at a time, one thing at a time. So pry the front down until that clears under the seal there. Then you're gonna have to reach in here, right here. Pop this off. Push these, push these and pull, it'll release. Okay, then you got that free. And you can see how those cables come through here. Stand by. All right, so to get these little clips out, we're told the wires, I'm just gonna use pliers, pinch them, push them out, just like that. Um, it's real easy. These other ones are on the back. I'll show you one real quick. It's a different style, same thing. If you pry on it from the front, you're just gonna break them. And then you're not gonna have anything to hold your uh, wire loom in place. I don't want to hear you cry about the radios on in the background. You can hear me. You know what's going on. I'm, I'm uh, interested to see what's going on with our uh, who's going to be our next president. But anyway, there you go. Everything's pretty much off there. Now all we have to do is just fish that wiring harness out of there. Stand by. All right. So you got to take the clips out of these. Take the clips out of those over here. Once you get all the wire clips out, get all exits through here, through the back. Here it is, your whole wire harness. Here it is. You're replacing this whole thing. Now I remember why the speaker had to come out. Because the speaker has to go on the new panel. And they are riveted on there. So on the new one, you can either rivet the speaker back on, or you can nut and bolt, bolt it, or, you know, whatever you see fit. Do it however you want to do um, here's the part that broke right here, just so you can see. Here's this little, uh, this is all that breaks. They're all the same. The cable never breaks. It's always this plastic piece here that breaks, that gives. Because that's where the tension is with the spring. They just get weak. And these back windows, they never get used anyway. Just first time you use them, like after 10 years or whatever, they just snap. So you can see the cable's perfectly fine. This is perfectly fine, but inside it's going to be all all uh, goofed up now because there wasn't tension. But this is really the only piece that ever ever breaks. So if you caught the window as soon as it broke and you didn't roll it up or down or anything and you stopped right there, 
you could technically undo this, clean this up real good, and glue it back together with a real good glue and maybe an epoxy and hope and pray. But for the price these cost, just replace the whole thing. Yeah. Okay, let's open up the new one and we'll see what we got. Stand by. All right, this is going to be difficult, but I'm going to try to. There you go. Right in China. Cha 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 China. Uh. So, I always like to film opening this stuff up in case I, I get slipped an old one, you know. But no, that looks legit. It all looks good. It doesn't look broken. All right, folks. Let me get this open. We'll go from there. Stand by. All right, folks. Here we go. Here's a new one. Here's the old one. Um, like I say, we got to switch out the speaker. We got to switch out that little rubber rubber boot, the speaker. I went ahead and opted to get one with the new motor on it. It was like ten or fifteen dollars more to get the motor. Otherwise, you have to swap the motor out, which is no big deal. As long as it makes noise in the door, your motor is still good. These motors hardly ever go out. It's always that little thing I showed you on the cable system. But you know what? I just get one with the motor. That way, I'll save that one. I'll have a spare. You know, it just makes sense. And what I did notice is this new motor is in a little bit different position uh, than the old one. It's clocked differently. I don't think it's going to matter. Yeah, sure it'll be fine. But anyways, yeah, that's what we replaced. This whole stamp piece It's kind of, you know, crazy, but that's how they do it on these Kias. And you can see there's the cable, there's the new piece, there's a little piece that breaks down in there. It's pre-greased, you know. And this one here did come with this little bracket and a couple of rivets. So we'll see what that's all about. All right, let me uh, drill that speaker out of there. Stand by. All right, I'm going to try to catch this on camera. I already popped two of these out. Real easy. Just using a drill with one of these unibits here. You pick these up Harbor Freight. But uh, just basically start drilling. And then bend it over a little bit. Yeah, uh, this one's giving me a little trouble. Oh, we'll just keep going straight down. No, that one's not coming out right. Let's try this one. Always when you grab the camera, that's when you have trouble, right? Okay, those two aren't going to come out. So I'll just flip them over and cut them on the back. Stand by. All right, so here we are. I got them all out. A couple of them I drilled out from the front. The other two I just turned around and drilled them out from the back. No biggie. So we've got the speaker out of there. That needs to be transferred. Um, this little piece I showed you that came in the kit, in the bag, the little plastic thing. I don't know. Well, here it is right here. Well, that's obviously this right here, the door rest. So we'll have to rivet that on the new one. No biggie. The motor, I'll end up keeping this motor for the future. And we are all done with this now. This is, oh, I'm going to take this off of there. And you can see there's nothing to it. It pops right out. So I'll take the motor off later. And then I'll just go ahead and throw that in the dumpster. So let me go ahead and get the speaker installed in here. And I'll probably rivet it back in. Let me get that little door piece put on there, the little door support right there. And I'll be back. All right, just so you can see real quick, this only fits in there one way. It has these little nipples here that align, these little dowel pins that align. So it locks in there. So do that before you rivet it. Don't force it. All right, folks, if you don't have a rivet gun, go to Walmart and get one or go to Harbor Freight Tools. They're cheap. They're probably under 10 bucks. Get a rivet gun. It'll do all the different sizes. And then uh, here's Harbor Freight. No, Hyper Tough. That's Walmart, actually. 
Um, I'm sure this was probably five bucks or less. I don't know, somewhere around there. Maybe six, seven bucks. Anyway, comes with all your different size rivets. So if you don't have any, this is a great solution. Uh, let's see, I'll figure out which ones I need and I will rivet them in there. Stand by. All right, I'm sure everyone who's watching this knows how to use a rivet gun, but if you don't, find the appropriate collet with the right size hole for the rivet you're using. Put the rivet gun over it and you're gonna pull. I'm gonna try to do this with one hand. Oh, I'm gonna have to use two, stand by. Okay, so the rivet just popped. Taking it out, you can see it's riveted. Undo the handle here. And the old, uh, well, it's stuck in there, but just get that out of there. And then do the rest of them. Sometimes you gotta pull it out of there. Alrighty, so I popped two rivets in there. Um, there's no reason to do four. That thing is in there so solid, it's, it's not going anywhere. So you can see the two rivets popped in there. Not going anywhere. If you want to do four, do four. I don't see any any reason to do it. Okay, let's keep moving. All right, folks. Now we're onto this piece. We'll just drop the rivets down in there, and it centers it right over that little bubble in the middle. And we'll go ahead and rivet it on there. That way, it'll look just like the other one, right there. And if for some reason your new one didn't come with that, just uh, drill the old one out and reuse that. Once again, you can use a rivet. If you don't have a rivet gun, you can use little nuts and bolts or, you know, whatever you prefer. Okay, I should be able to manage this one with one hand. That's all it is. It pops. And it's in there. All right, folks. You see I brought that wire back through, the main hole, hooked up the speaker, put the clips back in, hooked up the uh, window motor, put it through there, and that'll hook up to right here. These will go through those two holes, of course, and uh, I've got the other wiring harness. i got to put it through those three clips there once I get it close from the door, so stand by. All right, I'm going to get this put up in there. You want to put this underneath here first, then position everything in place. You want to pull these through so you get the little boots through. You want to hook up the wire connector here first. And um, this here, remember the two rivets I clipped out? We're going to have to put two new rivets in there. Or if you wanted to, you could probably use some uh, self-tapping screws or something. Um, I just like using the rivets because they don't come loose. So stand by and we'll get that done right now. Okay, so I got the panel back on. Just a couple notes. There's a couple dowels here that line up in the door. The old door had plastic ones, the original door. The new one has metal ones. They didn't fit quite as well, so I had to nudge them in with a mallet a little bit. Here's these. You can see they cross. The gray one's on the top there. gray one's on the bottom here. See that? So if you turn this around, this is top side up. Black is on top, gray is on the bottom. Okay, stand by. All right, we're gonna try to get that back in there now. Only got one hand to do this, so let's give it a shot. There we go. So we're gonna push the window down. We're going to try to line that up. You can probably see the window coming down. Okay, there it is right there. The glass just hit it. There we go. You see that in there, guys? There's the hole right there. Okay. There we go. See it pop in there? That's it. It's all back on the track. That's good to go. So we can go ahead and pop this back on there now, this cover. Okay, folks, I'll be back in a second. Okay, so there you go. Pretty much everything's done now. That's about the position the window's in. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to put the door panel back on. And that'll just hang in here first. You want to hang it up here on top first. It'll pop in all those little holes. We'll hold it in place. Then you can put your couple, your three screws in. Make sure to hook this up before you do anything, though. See you in a minute. 
All right, folks, got the screw and cover in there. Screw and cover in there. Screw and cover there. Now we'll check the window. I usually do that before I put the uh, panel on, but I have no doubts it'll work. Let me get the key in and we'll check it out. Stand by. Okay, folks, moment of truth. Is it going to work? Oh, no, it doesn't work. Just kidding. There we go. That's all, folks. It's actually really easy to do. I took my time on this so I could kind of show you guys. Because like I said on the last video, people got mad at me because I really didn't show. I, I did it, and then I kind of showed what to do afterward. But anyway, there's nothing to it, guys. Um, if you can change a set of brakes and install a car stereo, you got this covered.